Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Now the cold weather is coming, I'm keeping more emergency gear with my things for when I go out to make sure that if anything happens, I'm prepared. This is one of my favorites, is this all-purpose thermal blanket. And it's super nice because you can use it as a uh, ground cover. It has the reflective side for an emergency blanket. And if you need to, you can just use it for a picnic blanket. But it also has grommets in it. So you can fashion it into a um, shelter if you need to. I like it because it comes with its own pouch. And I keep all the things that I think I would need with it in here. And I'm going to show you what I have. So one of the first things I have is an extra um, uh, one of the emergency blankets. And I squished it all up into a little Ziploc bag. And then I wrote what it is so when I look at my pack I can see what each thing is. Then I always carry some emergency candles. They're great if you just have a can. You can punch some holes in it, drop one of these in, and you've got a little stove. You can use it for a lantern. You can use them for a little light. And you can even sort of get warm when you're in your little shelter in an emergency. I keep some waterproof matches in here. And uh, truth be told, these little things on the bottom never work. I have never had luck with these. I've tried them. I can't use them for any kind of fire starter, so don't count on that. Then I also have some tent stakes, because like I was telling you, it has grommets in it. If you wanted to fashion it into some kind of a shelter, you need some of those to hold it down. Always got to have these. <laughs> Black plastic garbage sacks. Make sure you get the really good sturdy ones because they're going to last so much longer and if you really need it in an emergency, you want one of those contractor bags, not just some cheapy one. It could end up actually saving your life. The other thing I have in here is the emergency, it's like a bivy bag. And it's not just the blanket, it's a whole bag. Because if you're really stuck out there, you don't want your blanket blowing in the wind. You want to be able to crawl down inside an emergency bag and stay out of the weather, stay dry. I mean, it could be anything could happen. Then you've always got another one in case you just aren't warm enough You can, or someone else is with you or whatever. There's so many things you can do with it. So those are the things that I have in my emergency pack. My big old thermal blanket, my garbage bags, some matches, and a space blanket, a little thing of candles, and an emergency bag. And it only took about two minutes. So I took the blanket out and I took two of the tent stakes and staked down each of the back corners. Just jammed them in the ground. Then I went over to the third corner and I stuck that one in the ground too. I found a stick laying around used it for my support and and I used that with a fourth stake to tie it out so that it would hold it up. I used my plastic bag for a ground cover and I've got my little candle going on and if it gets colder and I actually have to stay out here I still have a space blanket and I still have a bivy bag so I can stay warm. I can crawl into my little shelter It's amazing how much heat you can get from a candle. And when you have the silver side, it truly reflects it and holds it in. You guys have just got to try this stuff. It is fun. And then if you ever have an emergency, you already know how to do it. You won't panic because you've been having fun with your stuff. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.